Hello, and today we're going to be looking at periodic table trends uh, through a couple of lab activities. Uh, first, we'll react a few different metals uh, with water and hydrochloric acid. Uh, then we'll work with our outright earth metals in different various compounds with chlorides uh, and seeing how they react with a few different uh, compounds as well. So we'll go ahead and get started with the metals of magnesium, calcium, and aluminum. So first we have calcium. Uh, we're just going to take a small scoop out of our calcium and we'll place that one in the top of our well plate and then we'll place a little more down at the bottom of our well plate. We don't need a whole lot. We're not looking for an exact amount today. Uh, so that's our calcium. Next we'll use magnesium. Uh, magnesium, uh, we'll do a little uh, powdered magnesium today. Uh, we could use magnesium strip as well. We got a new spatula here and we'll put our magnesium in over a little bit, one on top and some more on the bottom. Finally we have aluminum. Uh, for the aluminum we're just going to use aluminum foil and we're just going to break it up into two pieces and put one on top and one on the bottom. Uh, now we're going to react re each one of our uh, metals with uh, water. Uh, so we'll start with our first one, calcium. So we're reacting our calcium with water. Next we'll do our magnesium. And finally, our uh, aluminum. Next, we'll move on to hy hydrochloric acid. Uh, same process. We'll just take the hydrochloric acid. First, we're going to do the calcium. Then we'll do our magnesium. And finally our aluminum. Uh, now that we've done our reactions, we're going to use some uh, red litmus paper uh, and see whether we have acids or bases. So with this red litmus paper, we just dip it in. Uh, if it remains a red color, we're looking at an acid. Uh, if it changes to a blue color, we're looking at a base. So we'll start with our water and calcium. You can see a clear change to blue if I can get some of that calcium off. You can see that clear change to a blue color. Then we'll do our magnesium in the with the distilled water. And finally, our aluminum with distilled water. So our last two stayed the same color. Next we'll move on to our hydrochloric acid. So with uh, calcium, I have to add a little more of uh, the hydrochloric acid just because I don't have any liquid left in that. So I'm going to add a little more of the acid and then we'll tip it in. And you can see we're starting to see a color change already. Then we do our aluminum, our magnesium next. And you can see that clear blue color change. I'll just flip this one over and we're going to do our last one, our aluminum. You 
see it remains that red acid color. Next portion we'll move on to uh, reacting our alkaline earth metals in chloride compounds. So in this portion of the lab we're just going to set it up for our reaction. So we're going to use each one of our alkaline earth metals uh, chloride compounds and we're just going to set up three well plates about one third full uh, with that compound. So first one's going to be magnesium chloride and we're just going to do that same process for all 12 of these spots. So each one goes in three spots and we'll catch you after we get these filled and start putting the testing solutions in. So now that we have all our slots filled, we're going to use our testing solutions. Our first one's uh, sodium carbonate. So again, these are clear, colorless solutions. Uh, so we're looking for the formation of a precipitate, typically a white precipitate in this case. So I'm just going to go all the way across the first rail. With our sodium carbonate and give you a little closer view and we should see that white cloudy precipitate formation. So that was sodium carbonate. Next we'll do the same process with sodium sulfate. So in this case you can see some of them reacted while others did not. We're looking for that white cloudy appearance on that for a formation of a reaction. So that was sodium sulfate. Our final one we're going to use potassium iodate. Again it's a clear colorless solution and we're going to go across all four of our test solutions. That was potassium iodate, and you can see we just have one precipitate form in that case. So we're looking for trends on our periodic table. In this case, we were reacting uh, magnesium chloride, calcium chloride, strontium chloride, and barium chloride uh, with sodium carbonate in, in the first row, sodium sulfate in our second row, and finally potassium iodate in our final row. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it and get some valuable information. Have a great day.